Hi everyone. What observations do we need to make before and during our manoeuvring? It's observations that make things safe. And to be honest, I'd rather have one of my pupils touch a curb, which won't fail a test, whilst they're observing properly, rather than just staring at one of the side mirrors. Let's show you how it's done. When you do manoeuvres, you must use a prepare, observe and manoeuvre routine. This means you get the car ready to go, you then do the appropriate observations and then if it's safe, you can move. So, the observations that we're going to have to do are going to be a six point check all the way around the car. So what we usually do, we start off with the least dangerous side which here, because I'm parked on the left side of the road, is going to be my left shoulder. So I'm looking over this left shoulder to ensure that there's no one in that area. And what I'm actually going to do as well is move my head. I'm going to ensure that I look all the way around these pillars. I then sweep around past this door pillar, again, making certain that I look behind it until I get to my left door mirror. My left door mirror, I'm looking for anyone coming up this side. Again, sweep around the pillar and make certain that I look up ahead in front and assess what's going on out there. Then we go over to the centre mirror to assess what's going on behind and then continue to my right door mirror to see who's coming down the side. And then the last check that we need to make is our right blind spot. Making certain again, we move our head both sides of this pillar so we can see absolutely everything over that blind spot area. So, we're going to demonstrate what we do with these observations with a parallel park. You're already familiar with prepare, observe and manoeuvre. Now, it's important to understand that you need to look and act off what you see. Don't just look and what I call don't see. Imagine this, if you've got a two or three car length bubble all the way around your car, you need to see whether anyone's going to enter that area within two or three seconds. That's not just cars, that's any other road user. For example, if there was a pedestrian walking up this way, you might decide to continue. But if there was a car coming down this way, at this point, you would be stopping. So remember, two or three car lengths in two or three seconds. So we're gonna have a look at doing these observations whilst we're doing the manoeuvre. I'm already prepared to move out. I'm just doing the final check before positioning away. I'm watching my mirrors all the time, things are changing, so I'm actually going to signal left for the cars behind and then put it into reverse gear as soon as I can. And I'm sitting here with my foot on the foot brake, so I'm also warning these cars up behind that I'm not going to move. Now, I'm going to cancel my signal because there's a gap on its way after the black one. So I'm going to do my checks around everywhere now, so I'm ready to move back to my turning point. At my turning point, I'd always advise to maybe have a little pause and have a check around again. The simple reason is, as we steer left, the front of this car is going to swing out. So it's clear to go, and I'm going to spend most of my time looking out the back but every second, I'm gonna try and look in a different place to ensure that I don't miss anything. I'm also going nice and slow, so I don't miss the accuracy of what I'm trying to do with my turning points. Again, no one's coming, so we're actually quite lucky. Now, there's a car approaching from behind, so what I'm actually gonna do is stop before it gets to our two or three car lengths area. And to be honest, with the red one coming up, what I could actually do in this situation is continue. Because us actually moving this way is gonna get out of their way, but make certain that you see them. If you're in doubt, if they're coming within that area, just stop. So again, checking everywhere again, mainly looking out the back. And that car behind has finished, it's done its turn, so I'm gonna concentrate on what I'm doing and looking out the back to do my stop. And we're done. I hope that makes sense to everyone. Remember, prepare, observe, and maneuver.
and don't just get wrapped up with getting it in between those lines or next to that kerb. It's much more important to be safe. Thanks for watching.